What's going on guys? It's me, Lindsay with lindsaymore.com. And in this video, I'm going to cover how you can um, set up a sales funnel inside of Market Hero. Now, Market Hero, um, I just got that about a month and a half ago, I want to say. And um, it's, it's just another, uh, basically another email autoresponder that I have added to my um, list. I already have accounts with Aweber and GetResponse. And I just added um, Market Hero because after watching a few t tutorials by Alex Becker on how he actually uses uh, Market Hero and how you can generate the actual number of the um, the lifetime value of your customer this is something that I definitely wanted to add to my arsenal because I do create my own products and it is helpful for me to know what that number is so that way I can know how much I can, I'm willing to spend um, per lead or whatever else for my ads when I run ads so inside of Market Hero you can create a opt-in page inside of your back office but I already have ClickFunnels so what I did was I integrated my ClickFunnels um, and uh, Market Hero accounts together. Now, for in this example, um, I'm going to show you a actual opt-in page. That, um, I mean, an actual sales funnel or a stream that I'm currently using for Market Hero that has already generated me, um, uh, you know, a few thousand dollars in affiliate commissions. Okay. Now, uh, with this one, so like I, like I said, this is inside of ClickFunnels. I created this um, opt-in page. And the first thing you want to do is, after you have integrated these two um, softwares together, you want to come to your Market Hero account and you want to come over here to where it says Settings. Not Settings. You want to come over here to where it says Leads. Sorry about that. And then once you're over here, you want to create a tag. Now, this tag is going to be pretty much where you're going to have your um, your email list, where your email, um, you know, the people who submitted their emails, this is where you're going to find all those leads. So now that we're over here, Hopefully my computer will kind of wake up a little bit. Let's refresh and see what happens. Yeah, gotta log in again. Okay, so now that we're inside of Market Hero, what I want to do is I want to come over here to Leads. And once I'm over here, what I want to do is I want to create my tag. So again, like if we come over to ClickFunnels, you'll see that this particular opt-in is called the four simple steps to getting more leads and sales for your business. So in Market Hero, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a tag that's going to correspond with my opt-in page. So that way I know how to, um, to recognize it inside of my back office. So let me just wait for Market Hero to do this. It just started to do this actually. Okay, so now that we're here, what you want to do is you want to come over here and click on the tags tab. And then what you want to do is you want to create new. Okay, I already have one listed, so this is the four simple steps. So again, I had I had a name, I named it so it corresponds with my opt-in page. Okay, now that I have my tag created, I'll come back over here to ClickFunnels, and I'll click on Settings, click on Integrations, and I'll make sure I choose my Market Hero account. It's then going to prompt you to in, include the tag that you want to associate this opt-in page with and again as you see here I have the four simple steps opt-in so now my opt-in page is linked to my market hero account so the next step that I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a stream inside of market hero or a sales funnel okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and share with you um, this particular funnel so I'm gonna come over here this is the copy of the four steps this is the actual funnel right here but let me show you how it's um, laid out okay so with this one, this is basically a two week, it's almost like two, I would say about maybe like two and a half or three weeks, um, you know, email sequence, okay? And again, it's not like they're getting an email every single day. Um, they're getting emails, um, you know, two to three times per week or whatever, but I just have it really spread out so I can just provide value, all right? So the first thing I want to do is now that I have my opt-in page created inside of ClickFunnels, I want to choose the start option as you, see, as you can see here. And if you can see with every tab, it has its own little wheel icon. These are the settings, okay? So what I would do is I will go ahead and choose the um, start action right here. And I'll choose on the wheel icon. And you can see here it's going to ask for what um, tag that you want to link this to. So you can see I put in the four simple steps. And you'll click save, okay? Then the next thing I want to do is when people have opted into my opt-in page, I want to go ahead and put a tag on those people, okay? So as you can see here, I would choose the action button right here, place it here. Again, you'll choose the settings. And again, I want to apply the tag of the four simple steps opt-in, right? So now that that's happened, 
you want to make sure you hover at the bottom of the icon you're going to see like a little arrow and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you link these two together so all you would do is you would grab this and you will link it together okay so that way when people opt in it'll automatically put that tag on that person right so the next thing that I want to do is I want to send them a welcome email. And inside of this welcome email, I want to let them know who I am and what they can be expecting from me in the next coming days, whether the type of email, the type of value content that I will be sending to them, right? So what you want to do is you want to grab the email sequence tab and you want to drag it over here. And again, what do you do? You want to click on the settings tab and you want to go ahead and write out your email. Okay, so you can see that I have an email here already. And um, you just go ahead and write something out. You can also use templates. You can add, Im add images and things like that. I just like to go ahead and use text-based um, emails when I'm sending out content. Okay. So now that that's there, again, you want to make sure you hover on the tab, pre um, the previous tab. Get that arrow, drag it over so you can link it. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is so I send out this first email. So it's going to be a group of people who are going to open up that email and then you're going to have that group of people who don't open up the email just yet, right? So the next thing I want to do is I want to grab my action tab again and I'm going to drag it over here. And then again, what we're going to do, we're going to choose on the settings tab. So now over here, you can have the option. So let me go back. So now you have the option right now. So after that email, you can apply tags, you can remove tags. You can, um, um, if, a conversion, if a conversion pixel is hit, so let's say like you include a link to one of your products, okay? If you do that, um, if a, and if somebody go ahead and click on that link inside of that email, it'll actually track it here, okay? But like I said, this is just a welcome email, so I just want to know if people open the email. So I'll choose this op option right here, if email has opened, okay? I'll come back here to the wheel tab. And I'm gonna give people at least 24 hours to, um, you know, to basically trigger this tab right here. So in the next 24 hours after they receive the email in their inbox, if they open the email, they will go one way in this funnel. If they did not, they will go an opposite way. And I'll show you that really quickly right now. Okay. So again, we have applied the tag, not applied tags, but we have set it to where if they have opened the email, and to wait 24 hours. Okay. So. Let's say if they open the email, they if they did open the email, the next step for them is to go to this option. So I'm gonna choose the delay button and I'm gonna bring it right over here. Right? And what do we do? We click on the settings tab. And then right here, I'm gonna have them on a two-day delay. And after two days, they're gonna receive my next email. Okay, so now that way I'm not bombarding them with emails every single day, right? And so this again, this is for the people who have opened the email. And they're going to go into this delay option, okay? Now, let's say like, well, Lindsay, if they don't open the email. So, again, you remember how we hover over here at the bottom? I'm going to choose this right here. I'm going to bring it here. So, if they didn't open the email, it's going to send them another email. It's going to be the welcome email, e welcome email letter again. So, what I just basically did was I just copied this email and I put it here and I changed the subject line on here, okay? So, now... Is basically if they gonna if they open up the email they go into this delay option so where they're gonna have to wait um, two days before they get this next email okay and you're gonna say like well Lindsay what if they don't even open up this email they're gonna go ahead and be pushed here anyway okay and that's how this pretty much is set up okay so again I send them the email and if they click yes they go to the delay for another two days if they don't they go to this option okay then they get email number two I mean, well, yeah, this is like the second value email, right? And again, if they click on it, they go, yes, they're going to go to the delay option. And if they don't click on it, they're going to go to a follow-up, which is basically the same email with a different subject line, right? And then as you can see here, the next email, I'm going to do a hard pitch for ClickFunnels, okay? And then if they actually hit the pixel inside of here, um, you know, they go to another delay option where they're going to wait two days before they get my next value email, and then um, if they don't hit it, they're going to get another email again, basically pitching them click funnels again, right, with a different subject line. And then if they click on it, they're going to go to the delay option. They're going to have to wait two days, and then they'll get my next value email. Okay? So as you can see here, how this is pretty much set up is they opt in, they get my first welcome email, 
value email, value email, well, a value email, and then a value email. And what I mean by value email, I'm not selling anything in these emails. I'm just giving pure value, okay? So that's value email number one, value email number two. Then I'm giving them a hard pitch for ClickFunnels, okay? And then we're going to wait a few more days, and then they're going to get value email number three, value email number four. And then here is the second offer. This is going to be another hard pitch for um, I, I can do it again for click funnels or maybe um, an actual product that I have created in my um, in my product line as well. Okay, so now that they have that, so now within this sequence, they have received four value emails from me and two hard pitches. Okay, so now that that's done, and they go through this um, second hard pitch, they're gonna hit another pixel, and then I'll actually apply the tag to like if they're if they go ahead and um, purchase from this um, this opt-in or not this opt-in, they purchase from here or they have at least just gone through the funnel pretty much, I would apply a tag that they have made it, meaning that you know they have successfully gone through this entire sales funnel. I'm gonna have to put them on another delay for two days and then it stopped. Okay, so now they came in when they initially came in, they came in as a opt-in for four steps to the four simple steps opt-in, and by the time they hit the entire funnel, they will get another tag placed on them called made it. So that way, if I was to ever create a new email, and I just only want to target the people who have been through this entire funnel, all I would do is, is apply the tag made it into my um, email sequence, and it will only target those people. Okay, that is really powerful because like with some of these um, email autoresponders, it's very hard for you to do that. And with Market Hero, Alex Becker and his team made it really, really simple for this to be done. Okay? So that's pretty much how you set it up, right? And um, I, what I can actually do, guys, is if you want to, um, you know, if you want to actually get, um, you know, Market Hero and you want to actually try it out for the, um, you know, I think they have a free 14-day trial. They do have a free trial that you can test it out and things like that. I will give you this funnel for free. Okay, I'll give this copy of this funnel for you. It won't have the emails, my actual emails in here. Um, I will just remove those for you. But um, you can actually go ahead and get this set up. So all you have to do is just plug in your information and that's it. You'll, go, you'll already have this funnel set for you. Okay, I'll just go ahead and send it to you. So hopefully this is really helpful to you guys. Again, if you have your own products especially, or if you do any type of affiliate promotions and things like that, you definitely want to make sure that you get Market Hero, or even if you don't have any of those options, definitely get Market Hero as a, a email autoresponder because when I tell you guys, it makes it so much simpler for you to, um, to segment out your list, to send emails to a certain group of people, because like if you already have a group of people who have purchased from you, the last thing you want to do is send those same people a, an email where you're offering your same product for maybe like a discounted price, because now people are going to be in their feelings because they may have paid full price for your course, right? And now you're sending an email, um, you know, offering a discount, and um, you know people are going to feel kind of you know upset or whatever else that you're you know, that you're offering the same program. So that what you can do is with this um, with a Market Hero, like I said, even if you were to have people, like if I had people that came in and purchased ClickFunnels from me in this part of the sequence, and I still had a group of people that didn't, I can actually target those people. And um, you know, send them an email and offer additional bonuses for them to um, join and be a part of ClickFunnels and things like that. And you can definitely separate those things out. And it's so easy. I know it may seem like a lot right now, but trust me, once you have gotten back here and you set up um, a few of these funnels yourself, you will see how simple it is and how beneficial it is for you and as part of your list building and actually um, you know, um, generating more sales this way. I even have my um, Shopify store actually linked to this account as well um, because it's just that powerful. I already know the actual lifetime value of my customer that comes through my Shopify stores, okay? Just by using ClickFunnels, not ClickFunnels, uh, Market Hero. <laughs> so again, guys, if you wanna take the 14-day trial for Market Hero, I'm gonna put the link below this video. And once you have um, gotten your account, Make sure you let me know. Send me an email or something like that. I have my email information underneath every video that I do on YouTube. Send me an email and I will send you a copy of this funnel. So you don't even have to, I'll take out all the hard work for you. All you have to do is just insert your information and that is it, guys. So again, if you have any questions about Market Hero, comment below. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell 
so you can get more details when I do videos like this to YouTube. And until the next video, guys, peace.